So, as you guys can clearly see, Caspa is currently undervalued, which obviously can be an opportunity to scoop up, right? Of course, I'm not going to tell you to scoop up because, guys, as always, this video is not financial advice. These are just my opinions on the market. So, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, consider subscribing. And as I said, non-financial advice now guys let's go back to it because micro on x is sharing this post that is basically saying that caspa is the most undervalued it's ever been while price can be manipulated by market makers whales hash rate cannot and that's definitely truth thus it tells you the true story of the network growth value and the divide between the two that can be used to access fair value guys of course you know caspa is fair value and all of these fancy things right this is something that i'm just throwing out there however i'm not saying that um caspa is going to do 100x although it could right everything is possible guys as you know in a previous update i did let you know that i have sold a portion of my caspa because i saw opportunities elsewhere let's have a look at this right so that's something that crypto og posted and he's basically pointing out that caspa can actually see such a huge move right so again guys i'm not saying that caspa on a weekly can see drastic move towards a 50 cents level although it could however we of course know what will have to happen in order for caspa to hit these price levels um, i believe that coinbase binance and all of these kraken listings will have to happen so actually lots of people lots of retail is going to be accumulating caspa but i don't think it's going to happen that fast and i'm going to let you know why okay so let's go back here these are the search terms for crypto and bitcoin in general so first of all guys whether we like it or not bitcoin is the king and yes i know the technology of caspa is great but we have to remember about the fact of you know what is basically in front of us and what is in front of me so guys crypto and bitcoin in the last 12 months web search as you can see we have this little spike okay between 27th and 2nd of um, november obviously that's due to the fact of what bitcoin did recently right it pumped properly however we are in that downward trajectory in terms of interest for the last year for bitcoin and crypto that's because bitcoin doesn't really make um, new highs and of course is trading in this area of bs basically so guys we are going to look at the price of caspa of course we are going to have a look at btc and overall market right but why am i showing you that i don't think that caspa is going to pump like crazy until bitcoin is going to pump like crazy the overall interest will have to come back to the market basically retail traders will have to come back to the market they obviously gonna get attracted by the prices of btc when btc is let's say at 80k 90 whatever 100k level and then there's going to be a much bigger interest in altcoins because if i'm going to type altcoins in here guys we can clearly see that altcoins in terms of interest is nowhere okay firstly obviously btc will have to pump like crazy and then altcoins are going to see their pump but of course i'm going to cover it on the charts as well so that's the first thing guys this is the reason why i believe i still have personally time to scoop caspa back when i'm going to make some healthy gains with different coins but again guys this is just me okay so let's have a look at overall dashboard caspa is sitting at 2.7 billion in terms of market cap and unfortunately ranking is at number 13 the volume is quite significant but that's obviously due to the fact of what happened with uh, krc um these krc 20 tokens are being traded and we've got some healthy volumes in here that's obviously improving well increasing the volume on caspa as a whole this is what the market is basically waiting for um of course if mr donald is going to win that's going to be well based on his promises more bullish for crypto however according to the history in 2020 2016 it didn't really matter who won right because in 2020 there was biden that won and the markets still went up okay so we definitely can expect some volatility it depends where you are watching this video but um but basically 24 hours left and that's actually going to be the thumbnail idea for today so guys expect some volatility in general in my opinion things are looking very very bullish okay so let's have a look at technicals now we're going to look at btc and we are going to also look at caspa of course and of course different macro charts so guys this is where everybody got excited this is basically where everybody went so long on btc and they got flushed right so that of course is um coinciding with let's say this um last um area of um wyco free accumulation schematics um flushing the leverages i believe and then prob probably the exit out outside of that formation of bs so let's go back to the daily guys and let me show you something right even if the price is going towards the downside for btc yes whatever however from the lows of what 
6th of September 2024, BTC is still maintaining a bullish structure. Maybe, maybe let me actually change it to different color like this. And you can clearly see that BTC is creating higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Well, I missed this one, but you get the point. Um, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and then probably something like this, right? Um, so now let's have a look at the liquidity actually. So on a daily, everybody is longing BTC because obviously we saw a little bit of a, um, let's say recovery on a daily. However, on seven daily, let's see how things are going on on seven daily. So everybody is shorting BTC, right? Everybody is shorting BTC after basically they saw, um, well, this move towards the downside right and now obviously this leverage i believe is going to be probably around this area but let's see actually um also guys every single exchange for btc on 30 daily we can see that everybody is actually longing btc the question is are these people going to be right or we are going to see a huge flush okay because what btc could do it could basically go in here couple of waves like this and then still grab some liquidity because it did in here for example i'm not saying that um this is going to happen but it definitely could guys okay so be prepared for this volatility so my point here is that if btc haven't broke out of this area of bs basically altcoins cannot necessarily thrive in this scenario because retail isn't here and i hope that this kind of makes sense so now guys looking at bitcoin dominance obviously that's also important actually um this is kind of a good sign because on a daily we can clearly see that now this um dominance is being rejected for btc at 60 0.42 roughly well actually to be exact it does right because it properly touched this um, horizontal line so let me zoom this thing out to actually put things into perspective guys right this is what is happening so guys if btc is going to finally drop its dominance in terms of rsi and uh, mike dean let's have a look it's pretty much in a high area so i'm not saying that it's going to drop now but it's definitely possible well let's see now in this scenario caspa cannot really thrive right obviously caspa is kind of a little bit different than other coins so when bitcoin is basically pumping other coins are basically experiencing um well positive trajectory right they, they are going towards the upside and when these altcoins are going down, then Caspa is experiencing its pumps. And now, guys, let's have a look at the A's for Caspa. So, for hourly, what is happening on for hourly, guys? Again, this is something that I don't really want to, um, well, I don't want to be bearish on Caspa, okay, but I have to look at technicals, okay? So, this is what's going on. Caspa saw highs of um, what, 13.7 cents, and that was on 22nd of October. And at the moment, guys, Caspa is basically in this channel of, well, going towards the downside. It's creating, well, basically um, lower lows, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, and then maybe lower high, something like this, guys. That's obviously a liquidity grab. There is a problem with liquidity in Caspa in general because, well, just in general, at the moment, there is not much of liquidity in the market. Well, obviously for BTC, but for altcoins, not necessarily, right? Of course, we had these pumps for SUI, so on and so forth. But looking at Caspa, guys, let's have a look. This is 7 daily, by the way. So everybody's shorting Caspa. That's, um, well, let's say the only positive if we are talking about buying, but let's say perpetual. But now if I'm going to put Caspa in here on 30 daily, everybody is shorting Caspa. So then liquidity is basically above the current current trading price let's actually go back to caspa and let's put um well binance perpetual on 24 hourly so on 24 hourly what i personally think is that caspa will probably gonna drop to 10 cents six to grab this liquidity and then from the standpoint of market makers we could expect some pumps to let's say 11 cents one which obviously is not huge i know that everybody is expecting these huge pumps for caspa and i feel you guys i totally do so now let's have a look at the monthly right because that's something that i was mentioning as we can clearly see we've got liquidity in areas of 14 cents one and then we've got 14 cents four so in my opinion caspa is going to drop towards these uh, sorry go towards these prices and of course after that we are going to reevaluate. however from the standpoint of short-term picture on four hourly this is bearish scenario guys so i do believe that caspa could see well probably drop towards these levels of 13.3 level which could be a good buying opportunity if you are obviously interested into buying that dip that is going to be around 4.2 percent of a dip if caspa is going to retest this level now guys let's have a look at overall market okay because that's obviously very very important 
looking at overall crypto market cap on let's say actually daily let's zoom it out to daily we can see what is going on this is an uptrend that basically started in on 6th of september just like for bitcoin's chart and we can clearly see that we are well the crypto market is basically showing um higher highs higher lows however it got rejected from this level this formation of the bull flag guys right so i believe that we still have some time of course we are waiting for this catalyst which is us elections and that obviously is going to happen well very very soon so we could expect some volatility guys but now looking from the perspective of um only old coins that are excluding btc and ETH, we can clearly see that we still have a lot of room for let's say a pullback right so even if that is going to happen because of course everything can we could dip to levels of 545 billion for um all altcoins excluding btc and ETH, right so of course in this condition caspa is not going to thrive and just like here excuse me my drawings that belongs to the previous update but anyways guys we can clearly see of what's happening in here so altcoins excluding top 10 which I believe is the best chart for caspa are basically going towards the downside i believe that you know this is the moment of shakiness now and we have to remember that uh, market makers and of course these whales don't really want you to win right they want you to shake out they want you to be shaken out right they want you to be buying at higher prices so now guys looking at others dominance we see now the dominance of well altcoins basically excluding top 10 are at 8.8 percent which is not very very juicy but last time it happened it dipped to this area let's say to this well support which i hope that altcoins are going to get supported by 829 roughly 831 let's say then we saw a huge rally towards the upside so the question is is this is the last time when altcoins and overall crypto market is experiencing that shakiness and we could see finally green portfolios because i'm down i don't know how about you guys let me know down below in the comments if you are down or not but i am i've been accumulating crypto a long time ago obviously i've been um, re-accumulating and changing my portfolio constantly depending on what i see as an opportunity in the market i made some money in solana because i was buying solana at let's say 20 dollars right i was actually purchasing solana at eight as well and my solana investment basically allowed me to invest into caspa and different kind of altcoins which are also risky guys right so guys i'm still down okay and i'm not worried i know that many of you that are watching these videos are probably worried so guys we can clearly see that from the zoomed out perspective you know this is nothing to be worried about because this dominance drops and then just goes up right we have to wait for the bitcoin's dominance to go down and well this dominance to actually go up but the bullish thing is that stochastic rsi is basically creating a bullish cross or just about to and from the perspective of mike d well let's not comment on this right guys let's have a look at overall crypto market we can see that on hourly we are experiencing some bullish recovery but that's obviously nothing that's one point something couple of percent nothing on a daily everything is basically well the way it is as you can clearly see well degen is making 10 percent gains that's good obviously if you are into degen um, if you are a degen and then we've got weekly and monthly right so even on the monthly guys we got some bob that did 45x this is just you know unbelievable and sigma did 5x right i believe that um, time for caspa holders is going to come so guys um that's it what i've got for you i hope that you have enjoyed this very quick update and as always guys peace and love crypto